Yeah, welcome. So today I would like to um, introduce a, ma uh, a method of mapping. So assume you have this scenario. You have here different Aruko markers. You can see them here. And you also have a camera. And now you want to be able to simply determine the position of the camera in a certain world coordinate frame or relative to the coordinate system actually to this Aruko marker here. And here you can see already the result. So here you can see uh, the world coordinate system. So this is basically um, um, attached to this Aruko marker and relative to this Aruko marker the position and also the pose um, of all these different Aruko markers is displayed here in this map. So basically this Aruko marker is here, this Aruko marker is here, this one is here and this one is here. And there is another one It is here. And you also can um, see that the camera's position is currently tracked um, and it is right um, at the top um, set 2 centimeters um, of this Aruko marker. So this is the um, yeah initial Aruko mark. And here you can see um, the camera result. You can see that the camera observes this Aruko marker here and thereby it um, determines its position to be here. Yeah, so with this um, ROS package you basically can um, create a map using Aruko markers and you also can give these, um, this map some information because here also some pictures are displayed in Arvis. So this is actually Arvis of ROS and I tested this with a simple um, um, camera from Logitech and yes. So now let's start into it. Um, here in this video you can see how it works. So the first step is to create a map. And when creating a map you have to use the highest resolution of your camera. So this is actually um, one th uh, 1000, uh, so this is actually full HD, full HD um, resolution here. And now we start here the um, mapping node and yes so the first step yeah so yeah so the first step is pointing the camera to just the initial um, um, system so relative to this system now all markers are um, yeah mapped and now the next step is um, to always make sure that this marker is visible on all images and then also um, other markers yeah now here you can see images are taken and the uh, transforms from this marker to the initial marker is given and now also for all the other um, Aruko markers. Yeah, if this process is then finished you can see um, a launch file is created with um, static um, yeah, transformations and yeah here you can see actually the result of the mapping and now with this um, created um, launch file of these TFs and also with the created images, we are now able to navigate in this coordinate system. And this you can see um, now in this video here, or in, yeah, you have to start actually TF mapping, start TF, navigate. And then you can use the same camera. Now use um, not full HD, just use a, a lower resolution for the camera to be able to um, do real-time calculations. Yeah, and now you can see here now, um, the camera observes these Aruko markers and the position is determined. Yeah, the position is determined by um, all Aruko markers that, that are visible and um, this position is then filtered with a Kalman filter. And here the red and the blue um, yeah, spheres are actually the uncertainty of this Kalman filter. You can see if we go closer to a marker, then we are also going closer to this um, transformation. Yeah, and finally, we um, went back to the um, initial marker you saw on the previous image, and you can see that it is quite precise. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. As I already said, you can download the code here. And what you can do with it is actually place some markers in your room 
make sure that the, when creating the map that the camera always sees or sees first this Aruku marker and then the next one and all always sees at least two markers on each image when creating the map and yes and thereby you can actually create a virtual map of your room or of anything and um, yeah determine the position of a camera relative to this um, coordinate frame. Thanks for watching the video.